Hello friends, welcome to Paula's Las Vegas Kitchen, except today we're not going to be in the kitchen, we're going on a field trip. We're going to go to Caesar's Palace and we're going to have a breakfast experience with Giada, well not really, and we're going to also try a Dominique Ansel Cronut, which I've never tried ever before in my life. And in between, we'll look at some statues and stuff like that because it is Caesar's Palace. Come on, let's go on a field trip. You've surely seen on our channel and many others, the remodel that Caesar's underwent in 2021. Pride of place goes to this brand new 15 foot tall Caesar Augustus, founder of the Roman Empire, greeting guests as they enter. Fun fact, a local Las Vegas fine artist, Melanie Stimmel, was commissioned to paint that gorgeous ceiling. Opposite the main doors and in full view is the famous Caesars Forum, what was the original casino back in 66. At that time, it was equipped with just 30 tables and 250 slots. Oh, if those walls could talk. As you sweep your gaze across the magnificent lobby, note the mosaic tile floor, the statuary, the period art behind the front desk, and of course the three fates in the center of the room. Can this place really be 57 years old? It's just so opulent, there's no other word for it. The best part of that recent redesign was opening up the space between the lobby and the main entrance. The placement of the 24-hour Galleria bar is ideal, but maybe not as much as the lobby bar across the way. This classy spot sits just steps from the pit and the lobby, and it too is open 24-7. Enough sightseeing, I'm in search of breakfast. Okay, so one option would be to go high-end, get in line for the largest buffet in town, the famous Bacchanal Buffet. But I haven't got the time or the cash for that kind of extravagance today. Something called Pronto is more up my alley. Caesar's website describes Pronto by Giada as Italian fare in a fast format. Giada is, of course, Giada De Laurentiis, Emmy award-winning TV chef, cookbook author, and restaurateur. And in her own words, she owes it all to spaghetti. Pronto by Giada will make you breakfast, lunch, or dinner from the freshest ingredients and fast. If you're really short on time, there's even a case full of grab-and-go items. But you may want to check out the goodies in the display case before you make that call. Separate from the food counter is Pronto's Wine Bar, where you can enjoy more than 40 of Giada's favorite California and Italian wines by the glass. Grab a bar stool, or sip your vino in this quiet seating area. Hi friends, it is a crazy, crazy Friday morning here at Caesars Palace. I decided I would come over to Pronto because I thought it wouldn't be as busy as the other places. Boy, was I wrong. This place is crazy busy, but they're incredibly efficient. I can't believe how quickly my sandwich came out. So it is a sausage and egg sandwich. Oops, I'll take the paper off there, Paula. It is beautiful looking. Look at the cheese on that baby. I'm gonna cut it in half so that we can all take a look at what it looks like inside. It's very warm, came very quickly, I'm very impressed, and boy are they smiley happy. They just give you the biggest smile. Look at the Swiss, oh my goodness, check this out. So it wasn't cheap, it was 15 bucks, but I'm sure it's great. Take a bite. Wow, I was wrong, it's not Swiss. It's mozzarella. It's pizza cheese. Oh my gosh, is that good. That bun, brioche bun, super, super soft. So I got egg. I didn't get a piece of sausage. Let me try again, see if I can get some sausage this time. Oh my goodness, that's good. 
You know what they say, don't talk with your mouth full, but oh my gosh, that's good. It's got spinach, so I feel like I'm getting my greens for breakfast. Wow, I can't even believe how messy and good it is. Great flavor. That sausage has a little bit of a spice to it. Oh my gosh, that's an amazing breakfast. And I couldn't resist. When I looked at these in the case, I am a nut for anything lemon. You probably know that about me. Three lemon cookies for $6.99 from Jada. I'll take it. Maybe I can get the recipe for these because they look too darn good. Well, hey, I have some tea. I have a relatively quiet little spot here. I am going to eat my breakfast. The decor and statues inside Caesars have been compared to those typical of lavish Hollywood period movies, and I can't say they're wrong. The effect, though, when you look past the environment they're in, they are spectacular, and they are everywhere, even above your head. Many of these were imported from Florence, are worth thousands of dollars, and are done in exquisite detail. For example, this is an exact replica of Michelangelo's 16th century David, sculpted from the same Italian marble. It weighs more than nine tons, and it's tucked away in a hallway of shops. Now, I'm not sure, but I think this is the original Caesar that stood by the entrance for decades before he was replaced by the new one in 2021. <laughs> He's been banished back to the area next to the garage, so stop back there, say hi, rub his robe, and I'll bet you he'll bring you a little bit of good luck. Not gonna lie, I'm just glad he's still on property because I was really gutted when they took him away. Since day one, Caesars Palace has hosted the very biggest names in show business, from Frank and Sammy to Sting and Adele. I had never noticed this celebrity wall until this visit, and it is really impressive. History does indeed happen right here, to borrow a phrase. If this guy isn't on the celebrity wall yet, he certainly will be soon. He's Dominique Ansel, multi-award winning pastry chef and the proprietor of this new establishment on Caesars Casino floor. On another visit a few weeks ago, I stopped in here to check out the new bake shop and see what the buzz was about. Just looking at these fantastic creations in the display window, it's easy to see why Mr. Ansel was named world's best pastry chef a few years back. Among many, his most famous creation is the cronut, a cross between a croissant and a donut that caused a worldwide sensation in 2013 when it was first introduced. And just to keep you coming back, they change it up and offer unique, never before done flavors every month. There are lots of prepackaged goodies to take home and of course, plenty of branded merch. The other Dominique Ansel original is the cookie shot, made by this unique contraption in the window, the RoboChef. The cookie shot glass is lined with chocolate and the filling is Madagascan vanilla milk. I just got back from Caesar's Palace in possession of a $10 cronut. Never had a cronut in my life, so let's do the big reveal. I have to say the box is probably worth $2 in and of itself. So open this baby up, the big reveal. The May flavor of the month, I believe is, let me get this right, raspberry rhubarb jam with pistachio nut filling, I think. So I have a knife and fork because I'm surely not going to pick this up. A slice into it. It's a cross between a croissant and a donut. Never had this before. I'm going to get a big old bite. <laughs> it's got green filling, pistachio filling. Interesting. Are we ready for this, folks? Hmm. Heavier than I expected. With the croissant, I expect it to be a little lighter. 
It's much more of a donut than a croissant. Nice sugar topping. The pistachio filling is very good. They tell you to eat this like within six or eight hours of buying it. So it's super fresh. Don't chill it. Keep it at room temperature. Mmm, where's my cup of tea? I need a cup of tea with that. That is quite unique. Drangle Dale here. Cousin Paula went down to the strip to Jada's and had a breakfast down there. But she also got a couple of really cool cookies and she came all the way out here into the field to let me try one of them. Let me see what they are. Let's see. The packet had three in it, so you get one, Durango. What? What is this? It's a lemon iced cookie. This is a, a lemon iced cookie. Now, it's not a pizza pie, but you know what? I'm never going to turn down any kind of dessert at all because I just think this is going to be great. From Jada's on the Strip to Durango Dale. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. That lemon frost. That lemon frosting is good. When you come to Las Vegas, go to Jada's. You walk in that door and you tell them, Durango Dale sent me in here to get me a lemon cookie. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to charge you full price. And they're going to go, who's Durango Dale? But you're going to go, I know who Durango Dale is. Now, the only problem with this whole thing is, is there's no pie. If I had a piece of pie here, I think this whole thing would have been a lot better. But I never get no pie no more. I don't know All right. I had to invite my pal Durango to help me out because I haven't seen him in such a long time in the kitchen. And I had to offer him a cookie. The guy is always a hoot. Anyway, thank you so much for coming along with me on the field trip. If you like this field trip idea, let me know because we can go out and take a look at some other fun foodie establishments around town and get out of the kitchen once in a while. Next time I see you, I'll be in the kitchen. Thank you so much for being with me. Bye everybody.